Karl Braun, the 20th of April 1918, was a German electrical engineer, inventor, physicist and Nobel laureate in physics. Braun contributed significantly to the development of radio and television technology. He shared the 1909 Nobel Prize in Physics with Guglielmo Marconi for their contributions to the development of wireless telegraphy, was a founder of Telefunken, one of the pioneering communications and television companies, and has been both called the father of television, shared with inventors like Paul Gottlieb Nipko and the co-father of the radio telegraphy, together with Marconi. Braun's first investigations were concerned with oscillations of strings and elastic rods, especially with regard to the influence of the amplitude and environment of rods on their oscillations. Other studies were based on thermodynamic principles, such as those on the influence of pressure on the solubility of solids. His most important works, however, were in the field of electricity. He published papers on deviations from Ohm's law and on the calculations of the electromotive force of reversible galvanic elements from thermal sources. His practical experiments led him to invent what is now called bronze electrometer, and also a cathode ray oscillograph constructed in 1897. In 1898 he started to occupy himself with wireless telegraphy, by attempting to transmit MOS signals through water by means of high-frequency currents. Subsequently he introduced the closed circuit of oscillation into wireless telegraphy, and was one of the first to send electric waves in definite directions. In 1902 he succeeded in receiving definitely directed messages by means of inclined beam antennae. Braun's papers on wireless telegraphy were published in 1901 in the form of a brochure under the title Bratlow's Telegraphy du Wasser und Luft Wireless Telegraphy Through Water and Air. After the outbreak of the First World War, Braun was summoned to New York to attend as a witness in a lawsuit regarding a patent claim. Owing to his absence from his laboratory and due to illness he was unable to carry out further scientific work. Braun thus spent the last years of his life peacefully in the United States, where he died on April 20, 1918.